thing we want to do is get some measurements, approximately what might work for you. For me, I'm five feet, eight inches tall. When you make this beam, you want it about even with your solar plexus up in here. You know, I got a little bit of a belly. Solar plexus right about up in here, so you adjust it accordingly. So, how much wood we're talking about here? The beam itself, main fleshing beam, is 55 inches. 55 inches. The width, of course, you got your typical 7 inch width. Now, your support wood, how tall is that? How much wood we're talking about there? 22 inches. Now that will vary with the person's height. If you're higher, you're going to need it larger, or you're going to have adjusted accordingly. Now for the main base, how much wood we're talking about there? We're talking four foot main base to support on. Now here, as I will show you shortly, a little bit of a close up, you have a hinge here, so this can pull. You have a hinge here, so it goes down. Your portable fleshing beam is very important. If you want to save your trophy, your hide, your skin, whatever it is that you need to flesh down, you need something like this. This here is a unique design been around for a few years. I like it. I've had no problem. I've tried it all over the world. It works. It works for me. Hopefully it'll work for you. So let's get on with the movie. Well, if you're serious about collecting your trophy in the wilds of North America or any other continent, well guess what? You really have to take care of the skins. You have to flesh them down. That is, remove all of the fat and flesh so the hide is properly preserved. Obviously, after you get done doing that, you go ahead and salt it. Well, so many things can be done. The easiest method is to carry along a fleshing beam. This here is going to be something you have to bring up in your motor vehicle <laughs> on horseback or whatever. Probably not on horseback, it's a little bit too heavy. But this here is a portable fleshing beam. Now it easily folds down, pack in the back of your truck, your trailer, what have you. Start off with about a six foot board. You taper it, you make sure there's no square corners. Put preservative on the wood, you seal it. You round around the top first, of course. It'll last you a lifetime. Now, just give you an idea how it's made. Look at the hinge. It's right over here. We got the sunlight giving some shade here, shadows, but see the hinge, how this part here folds down. You people that are handy with wood, you can build one very easily. Notice the hinge down here. And notice how the back of it comes out over here. Down here you have some guides. This fits really tight to hold it steel. Get it even. Works very, very well. Proper knives. You can use your hunting knife if you have it. You don't need one of these fancy knives. It's called Necker knife. Fleshy knife. A little bit of a curve in it or otherwise known from years ago when they used it on wood to shave wood down, it's called a draw knife. A draw knife is a little bit different handles, but you can use those too. You really should study up on how to properly skin something out, how to properly flesh it down. These instruments here, something you can include in your hunting camp. You look at this fleshing beam, a lot of fleshing beams are very, very 
curved. They're round, rounded. Why? If you look down here, this isn't really square. This is molded and rounded over. I took away the 90 degree corners because if you have a 90 degree corner and you're using a fleshy knife, a sharp knife, whatever it is you use, you're going to pop a hole in the skin hide or cape that you're working on. So make sure everything is rounded, smooth, and then preserved. You could even use a large section of tree that's been, all the bark's been scraped off of it and it's perfectly round. You slice it in half, put that up there. Those are sharp looking. But to get a tree that size, you're going to increase the weight significantly if you have to move it. If you're at home in your shop, at home in your garage, different story. But always make sure everything is rounded. Henceforth, the reason why a lot of people will try to slap a huge PVC pipe on here and then they'll go ahead and put a cushion on top of that pipe because when they go to bear down on it, they just want to make sure that they will not pop any holes in the skin, hide, or cape that they're working on. So just keep that in mind. Keep everything fluid, just going over, round it off. It works. It saves you a lot of time, it saves you unnecessary repair work. I hope this tip helps. Thanks for watching.